Now that we've talked about these different panels that you can have in Google Earth, we know a little bit about how we can make things appear or disappear in the program. So again, remember if you uncheck this, uh, any of these checkboxes, you'll have things disappear. If you check them, you'll have things appear. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is our navigation controls. And the navigation controls are um, by default actually kind of transparent, but as you roll over them with your cursor, you find one that controls perspective, and that's going to be which way points north, and also what angle are we looking at the ground. That's controlled here. And then this is our movement tool. I don't think that's um, quite as helpful because you can always just click with a mouse and drag to move the globe around as well. And once you put it in motion, one of the things about Google Earth is once you put the Earth in motion by clicking, dragging, and then just kind of swiping, it remains in motion until you grab it again by clicking with the mouse. So now we're looking at, at Asia and uh, we have pretty much the same perspective. Um, then we have our magnification tool, which is right here, and this allows us to zoom in or out. And the easiest way to zoom in and out is just to use the wheel on your mouse, and um, depending on the configuration, some, some, in, in some mouses you'll actually, um, when you go forward with the wheel, that'll actually take you out, but the way I have it set up, when I go forward with the, with the mouse wheel, I zoom in and you can notice there's these crosshairs that form here too as we go in. And so just so you know this red line here, this uh, this denotes an area that's under dispute. So um, the two countries around here feel that they have claim to that area. So what I'm doing is I'm um, rolling forward on the click wheel of the mouse and it's causing me to zoom in. Okay, so you should notice here that we start to see um, a lot of uh, mountains. This is what we're looking at. We're looking right down at these mountains, and these are this is part of the Himalayan range, and this is in um, China, so we're in Sichuan province in China, and so now we've zoomed in. So now, if you wanted to, you could use this tool to move yourself around. Notice how if I click in the top part, it's going to move us up. If I click in the back part, it's going to move us down. If I click to the left, we'll go left. Click to the right, we'll go right. Pretty simple. And then we can go around like this too. Another way to work is you can use the, the hand tool here and just click and then drag yourself back and forth. And then when you let up on the click, you stop. So that gets us moving around. Also, uh, if you want to use the zoom tool, I'll just show you how this works. You go forward. This brings you in closer. You drag backward to the words of minus sign and things get smaller. All right, I'm going to zoom in because it'll help me illustrate my next point. So when you get zoomed in here, you can change your perspective. All right, so there's two ways you can change it. You can change the angle at which you're looking at the ground, and you can change uh, what the orientation is, that is, which way points north. So what I'm going to do first is click within this eye, okay? So you click within the eye, and if you push up, you're going to look at a perspective that starts to look out over the ground, not straight down like normal satellite imagery would, but instead over the ground like this, as if you were in an airplane. So now we have a perspective that allows us to look out over a much greater area, and notice that we can still zoom in, I can zoom in, can still zoom out, I can still move, everything, can, you can do all the navigation, you're just looking at the Earth from a different perspective. Notice too in this lower right hand corner when I move a lot, we have progress over here, and so you can watch this and see how long it's taking things to load. And that can be an issue on some of our school computers that take longer to load than others. So um, the other thing that you can do is you can use this N circle around here. Then, And this will change our orientation, telling us which way is north. So you could call this a compass tool or whatever you like. But to, to use it, you grab onto the N by clicking and holding. And then you move it around this circle. And what we're doing now is we're spinning ourselves around. So now north is down essentially and we're we're looking south so you can look south here and what if we decide we don't really maybe we don't want to look south maybe we'd rather be looking north or orient ourselves so that north is pointing up all you do then is just click on that n and it turns us back so that north is pointing up 
then too if we'd like to change our perspective so that um, we're going to be looking directly down at the ground you use this arrow the down arrow and notice now by using this that our perspective becomes more up and down so now we're looking directly down and zoom in a little bit and come back another way that you can do this is if your perspective happens to look like this so now we're, we're looking more of an airplane view rather than a directly down view if you um, drag out okay so if you zoom out grab this and go go out at some point it'll pull you back into the perspective that looks straight down that's another way that you can work so those are basically the navigation tools that we find in Google Earth we have our perspective tool here we have our compass tool we have our movement tool as you can see here you just drag wherever you want to go we have our zoom in and zoom out tool and remember that the zoom in and zoom out are also replicated by your mouse click wheel and that you can click and drag and then swipe to take yourself around to different areas as well now we're in the Pacific now I'm zooming back out I think I like to have north be directly up so I click that again and this gives us this orientation so now we're out in the Pacific.